Yo, what's up, everybody? Samuel J. Camro. I just got done performing at uh, Houston Baptist University, and now I'm in my hotel room. That's why the lighting is all shitty, because they have like 75 unnecessary lamps, and then I put the video in front of the mirror to add a lamp, because I'm a dumbass. Okay. Uh, that was Tourette Syndrome. That's what I have, if you're wondering. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, I'm really flustered, so I'm twitching more, like you saw that shit. Uh, I'm really frustrated. I just did the show, and uh, it's the craziest, most insane show I've ever done. I've done hundreds and hundreds of colleges, and I've never been like more disrespected than tonight. Um, I got to the show 30 minutes before the show. I did the same thing I do before every college show. I say to the administration, what can I talk about? Is there anything that's off limits? They said no cussing. I didn't cuss. Even though that's a crazy thing to do to begin with uh, when you're doing stand-up comedy is to be like, hey, what can I not talk about? Because the whole point of stand-up comedy is to talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Uh, but I did that to be courteous and not hopefully not offend people. And I said, even though, by the way, you can get offended by anything, just so you know, I could say I have Tourette's in the beginning of this video, and then some of you can turn it off and be like, no, I don't want to listen to that bullshit. I don't like people with Tourette's. I'm offended by his humor. Uh, so you can get offended by literally anything. Uh, so I asked the lady, this is blonde lady, I don't know her name, or I would, I would for sure 100% say it, and then I'd post it right here also. And I asked her, is there anything I can't talk about? And she was the one in charge, and she said, there's no cussing. And uh, I said, okay, and can I talk about, like, sex? And she was like, um, yeah, that should, be, that should be fine. And I was like, yeah, it's nothing, like, vulgar or anything like that. And she said, yeah, that's fine. I made sure. And I said, it's nothing crazy or whatever. So uh, that was my computer. Damn it. It's gonna, it did the boo-boo sound. Okay. Uh, so uh, she said that I did the show. I'm a half hour into the show, and I start doing a Q&A. Uh, on stage, where it's interactive with the students. One of the students said, how is sex with Tourette's? I'm about to answer the question. The lady, blonde lady, stands up in the back and yells, no, you're not going to answer that question. And then interrupt the whole show. All the students freeze, turn around. It just shuts down everything. And I was like, yeah, I am going to answer the question because he asked the question, so I'm going to answer it, which is insane that the students are trying to, they're curious about things, they're asking questions, trying to learn, and administration is going to stop them from being educated on Tourette's sex, which everybody should experience at least four times in their lives. It's insane. That's such a great, the students were fine with the topic. Everybody was laughing, having a good time. The students, by the way, side note, were the sweetest, coolest people ever. Uh, it was this one lady in charge, which is so, she's the, she's head administrator or whatever, and that's so messed up. She got to shut the show down on her own, she had to say. So what she did was, uh, she ran out the back door, and she called the cops, uh, which is hilarious. Because uh, I'm doing stand comedy. Here's the thing, if you don't like... I know this is all over the place, I'm sorry, because I'm so I'm so frustrated. I've never experienced something like this before, and I'm not sure how to, like, I'm trying to get all the whole story out. She, if you're going to book a stand-up comedian, and if you get offended by me, like, if you know my stand-up, the dirtiest I get is, like, like, I'll, I cuss, yeah, I'll cuss all day, and, but for, I was so clean this show. I was clean. That's what they wanted. I was clean. If you can't handle my stand-up comedy, don't ever book a comedian. Because you can't... I'm one of the cleanest. So you're not going to be able to handle any... But just book a fucking juggler next time. Or... Uh, so you could just... Whoa, those are... That's how... Those, okay, whoa. So you could just be entertained by that. Uh, or book a magician. Um, even though you'll probably be like, Oh, he's the devil. He's making shit disappear. Where's the rabbit? He's the devil. Get him off stage. Uh... Which is really rude because he's trying to make a living, and I'm sure he's pretty good at what he does. Uh, so she ran out the back, she called the cops, and I did not answer the question. That was my number one regret for the show. I should have answered that question uh, for that guy who asked it. I should. It was. I. That's that's my biggest regret. Um, so I didn't answer the question. I moved on, not talking about it. Then one of the students comes back in. The blonde lady sent a student back in. She's a coward. She couldn't come in herself and say it to my face. She sent a minion 
and a student came back in and was like, you have five more minutes in front of everybody again, stop the entire show as we're having fun, answering different questions. I got off that topic, did not answer. And then he said, you have five minutes, everybody froze. And I was like, no, you booked me for the full hour. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to do the full hour. And then he's like, no, she said you have five minutes. And then I was like, well, then I'm using this five minutes to answer this gentleman's sex question, which, again, I did not do. And I sincerely regret. Uh, and then <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I'm so lost in my own story. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to stay on. And then a minute later, it wasn't even the full five minutes, it was a minute later, and uh, she shut my microphone off, so I threw my microphone uh, to the side, tossed it, not like an angry throw, I just like dropped it to the side, and I said, fuck it, I don't need a microphone, um, I'm going to say what I have to say to these students, and I had like a two-minute spiel on... Uh, which they already did. They didn't even need to hear it because they, they already did it. But it was basically just be you, talk about what you want to talk about, be a leader, don't be a follower like this lady who hears something like this and just, oh, just starts freaking out for no reason. Just be your own person. Uh, it was just the most disrespectful show I've ever done. I couldn't believe it. And then the cops came in, which is the craziest. They walked in and they did like that cop like power stance. Uh, and they didn't say anything, but it's just, what are you going to do? Get him. He's shooting us with these jokes. Bah, bah, bah. Tourette's to the neck. Pff, sex jokes to the face. Take it, cops. It was just insane. You're going to call the cops on a comedian for, for talking about sex, which I didn't even talk about. I moved on for her, and I'm so disappointed in myself. But I am really proud for the students uh, that were at the show. Uh, pretty much every one of them came up to me and apologized and said that they felt embarrassed for her and for the school, and uh, they shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't feel that way because, like I said, they were really sweet, and I think they were all their own people, and. You know, they didn't follow her lead. They stayed in the room when she left, and she told people to leave, and they stayed there. And then uh, at the end of the show, they gave me a standing ovation, which was beautiful. It was, if, it would, if it was film, that would have been, like, the end of, like, a really dope-ass documentary. It was amazing. And uh, my Twitter's blowing up and my Instagram of just, like, really nice things that they're saying. So it was a shitty moment, but... We prevailed. We did it. My phone's blowing up. My sisters are texting me what happened. Everyone thinks I'm arrested. <laughs> uh, I'm just in this shitty hotel room with all these lamps. All right, well, I love you guys. Uh, stay strong. Be brave. And don't let bitches get you down. You know what I mean? doesn't have to be like that. I'll let people... No, when I'm at the Houston Improv uh, next, and I'll get you guys some free tickets. All right. Love you. Deuces. I feel like I for sure forgot something in the story, but it's been nine minutes, and you guys probably stopped watching, like, nine minutes ago. <laughs>